this morning we've got your back as we continue our team coverage with information about the personal, excuse me, the potential suspect Orlando Collins and a gun battle that happened late Saturday night. KSNT News' Tyler Carter joins us live with the details. Several federal agencies have just arrived back here on the scene at the Country Club Motel where they will continue their investigation into Saturday's shooting where three federal officers were shot and wounded. Today, those officers are recovering from gunshot wounds. They are expected to survive. Around 10 p.m. Saturday night, U.S. Marshal deputies and FBI agents arrived at the Country Club Motel to arrest 28-year-old Orlando Collins for two counts of robbery. When agents arrived at the door, multiple gunshots rounds came from the room Collins was allegedly staying in until a fire ignited in the room. The blaze spreading to the entire building. Residents in the area who heard the shot say at first they thought they were firecrackers. I first heard the gunshots at Walmart while I was talking to my friend and uh, we were wondering exactly what it was. There was a couple of shots going on. An unidentified body was discovered in one of the rooms, which is not be, was now being examined by the Shawnee County Coroner's Office. Officials have yet to say if that body is Orlando Collins. Reporting live in South Topeka, I'm Tyler Carter for KSNT News.